I'm Robert Bruce Thompson and this is the Home Scientist video series. This segment continues our look at chemicals on the cheap. Sulfuric acid is essential in a home lab both as a reagent and as a precursor for synthesizing other chemicals. Until recently I recommended battery acid as a good source. Battery acid is about 35 percent concentration and relatively pure and it was cheap. A few years ago, a five-gallon jug sold for $15 or $20, and gallon jugs were only $6 or so. But recently, I made the rounds of auto parts stores and found the price had skyrocketed to about $15 a quart. That's ridiculous for 35% sulfuric acid. So I decided to look for another source. A trip to Ace Hardware turned up Rudo Professional Drain Opener at $8 a quart. I bought a quart for testing, but similar products are available under brand names like Robic and Liquid Fire. All are recognizable because each bottle comes packaged in its own heavy plastic bag. The label on the Rudo describes the contents as concentrated sulfuric acid. The questions are how concentrated and how pure. Let's find out. Okay, let's get started and unpack the Rudo Professional Drain Opener. Remove it from its plastic bag first. As you'll notice, I'm wearing very heavy rubber gloves. Concentrated sulfuric acid is one of the nastiest chemicals you'll encounter in a home lab. In addition to burning your skin or eyes by an acid reaction, it's also an extremely strong dehydrating agent, so it literally sucks the water out of your skin and chars it. So don't mess around with concentrated sulfuric acid. Be very careful. All right, let's take a look at its visual appearance. And you notice it's already charred the filler cap. Okay, that is really excellent. I have seen technical grade sulfuric acid that is almost literally black, uh, basically colloidal suspended carbon from charring organic contaminants. This stuff looks actually like reagent grade in terms of visual appearance. Very little slight brown cast, but otherwise uh, no apparent contaminants. So, let's get an idea of its concentration by titration. And what I'm going to do is draw up in a graduated pipette one milliliter that is up to the top line of the acid and transfer it into some water. Stir it around. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Now, I will add a couple of drops. Let me tell you what, before I do that, I'm going to pour this excess acid back into the original container. set that aside as a contaminated beaker so that I'll remember to rinse it with lots of water. Okay, so we have some water that has 1.0 milliliter of the uh, Rudo acid in it and I'm going to add a couple of drops of phenolphthalein to that and I have here as closely as I could measure in a graduated cylinder, 100 milliliters of 1.00 molar sodium hydroxide. Now what I'm going to do is add the sodium hydroxide to the acid aliquot until the phenolphthalein turns pink, indicating that the pH is uh, about 8.5, I believe. In other words, that all of the acid has been neutralized. Now, <clears throat> one mole of sulfuric acid reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide. So basically by simply determining the number of milliliters required to reach the endpoint and dividing that by two, we can determine the molarity of the acid. Concentrated acid is, uh, well, 100% acid is about 18.75 molar. 
the more common 98% is 18.4 molar and 96% is 18 molar. So as a high end, we expect to use at most uh, about 36 milliliters of the uh, titrant. At the low end, it would be hard to call anything uh, less than 50% acid concentrated. So we'll assume that uh, uh, as a lower end, we'll use an estimate of 9.0 molar, which would require about 18 milliliters of titrant. So I'll begin by just adding and as you can see, we get a pink reaction initially, but it disappears immediately. So I'll swirl that, no sign of a persistent pink reaction. And I've added about 10 milliliters so far. Continue adding. And once again, the pink disappears very quickly. And I've added about 22 milliliters so far. Once again, it disappears very quickly. Okay. I've now added about 30 milliliters, and things are starting to be a little more persistent in terms of the pink color. So what I'm going to do is use a graduated pipette, not the one I used to draw up the acid. To add the sodium hydroxide titrant more gradually. And we can see it's still disappearing. but we're getting closer to the end point. Okay, I've now added about 32 milliliters, so we know the acid is at least 16 molar. Okay, we are very close now. Okay, that last drop did it, and I can look to see how much acid we've used, and we are right at a little over 36 milliliters. So apparently this acid is actually about 18 molar, a fraction over 18 molar, so it's about 96 or 97 percent acid according to this quick titration.